In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new filter in Photoshop. It's going to be a basic run through. I'm not going to show you all the features. Obviously, there's some beta options in it, so it's in progress. So, where's this new filter? Photoshop hasn't updated lots of these filters for a long time. Probably internally, they may have done. However, there's been no real great new filters for quite a while. Blur Gallery comes to mind as one of the last ones. Neural filters. So neural filters, just use it with this image. There's a poser image. So you've got skin smoothing and star transfer. You've got these two options. This is in the featured filters. This is beta filters. So clearly there's some work in progress. So some of them you can't access. You go down here, photo restoration. Sounds great. Now, I'm interested. You can tell them that you're interested. I'm interested. I'm just going to. And you can put response. Of course, you can fill this box in and put some other comments. You can put, I want a thing that turns a picture into, uh, you know, X, Y, Z. Maybe a nozzle feature that sort of makes it, fills the image with loads of uh, pictures of trees or something. I don't know. Whatever you want, you can obviously put these sort of things. Are you interested in this filter? Yes, but I'm also interested in others. So it's a good thing to use that. So, so skip. I'm not going to obviously send that. But you've got a few ones that you can use. Now, this tool, you can use it for images, faces, but you can also use it for other things. Now, some, of course, are not going to be so useful if you use. So if I go to Smart Portrait, use that one there. Now, I'm not going to activate it. To activate it, you just click there. But you can see you've got options here for surprise, anger, etc. So obviously, if it's not a face, it's going to have problems processing it. It's not going to be able to do anything with it. So it needs to be a face. But some of the filters don't need to be faces. You can use it, obviously, with faces. And I'm going to buy this smoothing now, skin smoothing. Oh, before I go any further, you've got these ones here. You can also download things. You've got a little download. and just click there, and it will download them. It takes a few seconds to process. I'll just click there, and you can see it downloaded very quickly. And you've got, since that's your only image, that's, that's it. But you can select and use. Now you've got strength, height, or whatever. Now, I'm not going to do that. But you've got makeup transfer. So you've got options here. And again, choose reference image so you can apply from reference image and you can activate it by putting that on and then just use that but i'm going to go with the featured ones because there's obviously some great ones here colorize turn that on and you've got here which is really not much different from what your standard sort of color effects that you can get normally however i'm certain there's going to be some uses for it so it's color there and focus color, etc. Well, I'm not going to use those, I'm just going to turn those off and turn that off. So, this is probably the one that probably many people will look at, be of interest style transfer. And this is style, not actual turning an image into the image that's displayed. So, that's turned on, and it always defaults to the first one, which I think is slightly annoying. So, you might never want that one. What it should default to is the one that you last used. Or you should be able to drag them and drop them into the audit that you might want to use it. Or select one that is the default one. That would be a nice feature. But it goes for this one first. However, you notice that the image does not end up looking like that. Which is slightly confusing. Personally, I think they should just show process and show all the images there that it's obviously done but that might take a bit of processing power so i guess they've just gone for an abstract picture but it doesn't end up looking like that so you've got the image there star transfer but you've also got a number of others so show more definitely doesn't end up looking like that one but you've got some like that one there cat doesn't turn that into a cat now that would be a great feature a cat tool Turn person into a cat. Doesn't look like a cat. So you've got your design there. However, you've got some options. Now, unfortunately, personally, it's not a really preserved color, which is nice because it just puts it back. And you can see the structure of the effect. There's the effect. Now, fortunately, you can't access that structure, that sort of the algorithm inside or whatever it uses to create that design. So I would love to see some feature that you can update that and create whatever it is, the internal brush that it uses. Because you've got brush size here, so you can change the brush size. The panel does have a tendency to jump as well. 
is slightly confusing. So there, and you might have to go and select another one like that, and you can see the effects there. But you can change the brush size as well as the style strength. So you can put the style strength down to virtually nothing, maybe there or there. So you can vary it to a degree. Also, you can use selections and things, you can use smart objects, all those sort of things. You can use blending modes, you can all use all those sorts of things. You can with all of the other filters, all there. And also you've got blur background, so you can use that. Though in this case, the background is pretty blurred already, so not much use. But you can also send comments when you like the thing, so yes. And then you can put your comments about sharing, etc., etc. I'm going to skip, I don't want to send that. But you can inform Adobe of what you like or don't like about this. So you've got this, and these are the features. I think it's a reasonable selection, but hopefully, say, it'd be nice to be able to alter how the brush is applied. And you've also got different output motion. I've gone for Smart Filter. I think Smart Filter is the best because it's non destructive, so it applies the effect. And then if you decide later you don't like it, you can always just turn the smart filter off or modify it. And also with smart filter, once you apply smart filter, you've got blending modes again, which makes even more options. So I'm just going to go with smart filter. And you've got this. So I'm just going to run it now. Shouldn't take too long to process. There it is. Some take longer than others. If you go to some of the more hard, complex ones, they will take longer. Now you've got this smart filter, and you've got the option here, you can turn it off, so just that, don't want it, or you can turn it on, or you can go over here. So double click that, and it will bring up the blending options. So you've got like normal, and you can run through these, overlay, so you can see you can add that difference, maybe not so good, vivid light, and so on and so on, or maybe just go for opacity, and normal. So you can see, you can change, modify a number of things there. So cancel there. So you've got that effect. Now I'm just going to go to another one. Oh, what I've got, here's another one. I've, what I've done, you can see what I've done. Got an image here with mum, and I've just copied and pasted. So I've got two, just to show it works with two. It does, I say, work with images that are more, uh, not just the faces. So you've got lots of, uh, it doesn't suddenly, only do the face. That would be really odd if it just did the face and it didn't cover all this. It's possible, I guess. However, just going to go to filter and neural filters again because what I want to show it does split it apart. So style transfer. Go to style 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 transfer. Turn that on. And you see over here you got this drop down and it's applied the effect to both. But you might want. You know what? That is so odd because when I was doing that in the uh, running through the trial, I was just running demo mode, trying it out. It did actually apply it only to one or the other. Now I'm just going to turn that off. So go to skin smoothing and turn that on. Ah, obviously it doesn't do it for all. Maybe it doesn't do it for maybe it doesn't do it for star transfer. I knew it did split them. So you got here that one and that one. So you can actually say, oh, I just want to apply it to that one. So I just click, select that one. So you can apply blur and smooth this just to that. So that one, or what it must be that one that's being applied. You can see that's changed. That one hasn't. So you can split it. So it's it's got a bit of an intent, but for some weird reason, it doesn't seem to work for those other ones. So I'll just turn that one off, go to the beta ones, and I'll go for the colorize. So colorize, turn that on. Oh, see, that's again just, it doesn't seem to differentiate between the two. Hmm, that's very strange. I guess that's the, the filter. So just cancel that one. What you can, of course, do, as I mentioned, you can always, of course, just go and select. So just select that area, then go to filter and go to neural filter. And then you can see you've got star transfer. Turn that on. Even though it's showing obviously that thing, it's only being applied to that picture. So if I click OK at this point, now you can see the effect is just added to that. Not the world's greatest effect added to my mum. However, that's a quick run through of.
this new filter, neural filter, really, really great little feature. And I think there's going to be lots of things to explore with this and just loving this tool. And I'm going to play with it and find out more later. I hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra Channel. Always having new tutorials about Photoshop 2021, Illustrator, Creative Cloud, Affinity Photo, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What sort of things would you love to see done with the neural filter? I mean, it's uh, lots of other possibilities you could use with that filter, I'm certain. So please add some comments. Also, a dislike or like about the video. What have I done right? What have I done wrong? Thank you much. <laughs>